Hello, King Alric. This is the product of today. I'm gonna change these dog bones on my tiger. My biggest problem with my tiger is that uh, it's the ground clearing is too bad. It's too low, so I hit a lot of rocks and stuff. And sometimes it makes me fall, and sometimes it just damage the bike. So I'm gonna try to put these on. They are supposed to make the bike three and a half centimeters higher. That it's one and a half inch or something maybe. The dog bone is the link between the swing arm, this piece, the swing arm, and the rear shock. So it's this piece of metal we're going to change on both sides. And a little change here makes a huge difference back on the back wheel and the ground clearance. If you look at the plate, the plate has done its job. You can see a big dent here. There is a big dent in the front here, and you can see all the scratch marks. Uh, so, but the engine is still intact, working. I have never had any failures, so the plate has done its job. You can say it's well tested. First thing we need to measure is the distance between this one and up to something solid. And this is the distance that we're going to change, changing the T-bone. So, put one of these and we'll measure. I will put it on top of the nut and I will keep it to the frame and I can see it's 31 centimeters up to this one. So maybe we should look at the ground clearance as well. So, I can say it's as I can keep it in balance, it should be straight. So it's 21 centimeters from the ground. 21. And that is, I think, 4 centimeters lower than like the KTM 1090 and the Africa Twin. So on this side, it's super easy to see the dog bone. It's going from here to there. This is the nuts I will release. I would say changing this is a very easy operation to do. So it's easy to change back. This is the new one. And it, as you can see, it's slightly shorter. As you can see, I'm both my feet well on the ground. So uh, hiring the bike a bit, getting a bit higher, shouldn't be a problem at all. But it's going to make a difference. Let's get screwing, as I used to tell my wife. Ooh, this was heavy. So, it's number 17. As you, as you can see, you can do this without any bigger tools. Number one bone. You can see the new one is slightly thicker. And if we put this one like this, you see that this one is almost one hole off. Let's take out the easy one first. There's the side stand spring in the way. Ah, don't squeeze. 
squeeze your fucking finger in there. Ow. Shit. But it's done. Oh, fuck. Ah. Now this one should be easy. And I took this one last as it's kind of stuck as I showed you before. Behind that uh, chain thingy. So what I did was removing this screw, loosening this a bit, and then I could just push this down and should be able to pull this out. So uh, with the old dog bone off, I will put on the new one and I will start in the upper hole, the upper one. And come on. So easy peasy. And I will fit the one on the other side as well. And then I will lift the bike up. No, I will actually do that now. Lift the back wheel up so this one fits. I will change the camera angle so you can see it. So I will hire the back wheel up so I can fit this one in here. Maybe I should have the center stand locked and stuff, but we do like some excitement and some riskiness, so I won't. I will keep it like this. So I'll pull this out a bit to get some flex. Aim for the hole. Now it's in, but it's not good enough. Wait, I need to lift the actual bike. Well, that wasn't too hard. Here you can see the new boon is in place. It was fairly easy. Just put on the nuts again. Mm. Sitting like a cripple due to the camera. And this is self locking nuts, so no Loctite. And I don't know, tightening these ones are not that interesting. But we will measure the change in ground clearance. So the wheel is touching the floor, but it's very, very slight. But it's enough for me that I need to lift it like this to do the measurement. And I'll do it as last time. Put it on top of this bolt. We'll lean this to the same place on the frame. And we'll lift the bike. And we'll see. So it's 33 and a half. 33 and a half. Okay. I still have both feet on the floor. I do feel that it's a bit higher. My legs are a bit more stretched, so I feel that I have to be squeezing a bit more into the tank. But it's I still can have both feet on the ground. So time to try to measure measure it just standing. Keeping the bike in balance. I don't know if you can see this, I will try to zoom. It's 22. There is one more thing I aim to change to make it higher, and it's this one. Now, now if it's visible, but I should be able to gain half a centimeter here. See if it works. I kept this one tight, so I will loosen this one, and I loosen those two. So. Now, when I take this one off, this leg should be loose, but the upper and down, whatever, should be in place and in level and everything, due to the other fork leg is still tight. Let's see how it works. Super easy, you just grab it and you move it a bit and you touch it. 
I will show to make it this. You can exactly see the black on the inside. And it was like this. It should be good. When you tighten them, tighten them a little bit each at a time so you know the pressure around, even the pressure over the clamp. And you say how many newton meter and blah blah blah. And I will tell you a trick that if you only use the normal tool, the tool length is made so you kind of can't make it too hard or too loose if you drag it over. So it's combined length with body strength. It should be fairly okay. Okay, I dropped the fucker. Hmm. I can already now tell that it's leaning a lot more on the side stand due to the change. centimeter maybe one and something so let's say it's half an inch of change in ground clearance or changing the dog bones in the back and hiring the forks in the front okay summary what have I done I have changed the dog bone in the back it's this one going there. Uh, I have changed one to one centimeter shorter, making the wheel two, three centimeters or three and a half centimeters taller, or the height of the bike in the back. Going f uh, further, I have changed the height of these ones, or the length of the fork legs. So by lowering it here, and you can see if you look at the dirt here, you can see it's like half a centimeter I have changed it. And in total I gained a little more than one to one and a half centimeter in ground clearance by doing this. Is it worth it? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> 